I used to take great delight in scaring my little sister. And, uh, I'd buy these masks out of a, a famous monsters of film land. And, Thank you for bringing that up. We weren't traumatized that bad. My mom actually <laughs> took on. Bad. I had a pretty good collection, and my mother finally got rid of them. This song's called Run Skeleton Run. It's about yeah. a skeleton. I like that. That's about all I can tell you. Run, skeleton, run Get down from the mountain Back into the graveyard Run, skeleton, run I picked up a guitar when I was 18 years old and started playing. I hadn't quit since then. My inspirations, you know, go back to hymns in church and then Elvis and uh, then like Dean Martin and then Bob Dylan and the Beatles. Spent a lot of time with a Blonde on Blonde songbook, learning all these uh, chords and the songs of that, from that record. I've always just had to use what I have at hand. Well, Farmer McDonald saw you run past, hit you with a shotgun blast, scared her off with a skeleton laugh. Run, skeleton, run, ha, ha, ha. I played like four, about four nights a week and stayed pretty busy with it. So I have to be ready to adjust the sound, but basically it goes around the guitar. Uh, very, very lucky and blessed to have four guys uh, who play with me. Go by the name of the Serpents. One of them's my son. He's a drummer, Robert Childers. I get a call from Dolph Ramsor, and he's like, "Well, why don't you uh, get together with Kyle? I want you to to meet him and uh, you know see if y'all can write something together." Well, next thing I know, we're doing shows like we're doing tonight. I feel very um, honored to be uh, sharing stage with him. I hung a shelf at the end of the bar next to that old TV. And every night at last call, we raise a glass to his memory. To have David take the time to go with me and to do shows to help me kind of figure out where I was at on stage and what I was doing and give suggestions for I play a song and you might want to move this here or do this. To me, that's what's always made the stay great. Uh, so it's a very open community. There's a, a lot of people who have learned to be proficient with their instruments and to be really serious artists who've chosen to stay in this state. You know, I don't know, but it's just something that seems inherent uh, in our culture, uh, you know, it, whether it's up in the mountains or, you know, out in tobacco farms. Don't be scared of what your heart wants. Fear not the silver wing glory of love. Fear not the fact that living is dying. Don't be scared of becoming what it was. You know, I think about Malcolm Hawk, I think about my friend Lightning Wells out in Goldsboro and uh, my own hometown. I mean, I'm from Mount Holly, North Carolina. Where I'm from, around Charlotte, a really huge influence I have sites Arthur Smith, who had these morning shows. If you grew up around Charlotte, you know, in the 50s, 60s, or even the 70s, you were gonna be exposed to that. But I had recorded this, put on a record, and uh, then forgot about it and just quit playing it. And one day my daughter's like, Daddy, uh, do you know the Avett Brothers made a video of this uh, song you wrote and quit playing? So I play it probably every show I do now. <laughs> you know, I could go on naming names, but there's a lot of good musicians and bands in this state. I don't quite understand why. You know, I just feel lucky that that I'm here right now, you know, to be a small part of this. It was a New Year's Day in the seaside bar. It was a special on PBR. The ocean roared outside the door. No one but us and some hardcore drinkers lost in the stormy day. How blue is the blue of your eyes? A 
against the skies of gray. Do you remember what we talked about? I just remember your face. Prettiest thing that I have ever seen. It must have been a wrong turn that I took in Cedar Falls. Maybe Kansas City, Lord, I don't. 